Here's an example in the Tweedo program of different ways that we can use the outputs. You'll see in this one we've got the same output address and different symbols used in here. And this is actually an example of bad practice that I don't want to see anybody doing, but let's just show you why this is a bad idea. So using the little analyze at the bottom, it gives us a green color on the left side of the screen. So that might be a good sign, except it also gives a warning here at the bottom. So we can see exactly what those warnings are in this extra window that comes up. Here we go. So it's telling us coil Q00 is written several times. And that's going to be a problem because whatever the second line of the program does is always going to overwrite whatever the first line of the program is doing. So if we run our simulator, we'll be able to see that happening. Okay, so there is our simulator running, and you can see all of our inputs are off, all of our outputs are off at the moment. Now if we just change input I01, turn that one on, then that's had the immediate effect on the output. You can see in the list in this little window that our output has turned on. So this is some pretty strange operation going on here. Even if we turn on I00, okay, that's okay, it leaves everything turned on as we'd expect. And then if we turn off I01, we can see that overrides and turns off the whole circuit. So we've got something really strange going on this way. So I'm just going to make some changes and then come back and show you what's different. So now I've changed this program so that the outputs are different types. You can see I've got an S and an R in here. So the S up here stands for set and R stands for reset. You can get those options from the toolbar at the top and you might have to use the little green arrows to scroll along through a few different options before you get to this one where you can choose the set and reset options. And I've also made a change with our input just to make it a little bit easier to simulate. Okay, so now with our simulator running, if we hit turn on input I00 is our start button, that's good. We can see that our output turns on straight away. And if we turn that input off again, you can see that we've still got the logic turned on. We've got a memory effect. So that's okay, our output is still running after we've turned off that input I0. And input I01, that's our stop button, if we turn that one on then we get the reset action, which turns off our output altogether. If we try and activate both inputs at the same time, yeah, they're both on, and you can see that the second line is taking command. So the first line in the PLC is still, for a very short time, inside the PLC memory. It uses the on state of the first line to activate the first output, but then as soon as it gets to the second line, the result of the logic in the second line is going to overwrite anything that the first line says. So generally, this way around is a bit safer, making sure that the stop command overrides the start command. So you probably want to have a go with these yourself. Try out the set and reset. Try swapping them around to put the reset line first and see what sort of difference that makes. There's lots of different uh, features that you can do with these things and hopefully you'll find it really useful.